And what a marvellous performance by Knight Pistol. He threw away the best part of 60 metres and he's won by eight. Is Knight Pistol off from Sweden to Mary Barr. He's done it again, the champ. He'll clock up another win. Knight Pistol by 10 metres, Indiana. Knight Pistol's in front of Wagon Apollo. Knight Pistol's going to hang on. Knight Pistol's won the championship. Moon, oh, what an animal he is. Knight Pistol, this is one of the greatest performances we've seen here for a long time. This Knight is an extraordinary run. Hail the king, the king of trotting is Knight Pistol, and this is one of the greatest performances you will ever, ever see. Uh, yeah, Russell bred the horse, and yeah, originally he leased the horse to uh, Dick Lee, uh, who then leased the horse to uh, Ted Whitten, um, the footballer, and uh, he had a syndicate that wanted to race a horse, and uh, but it never worked out, um, and the horse was sent back to Russell, and uh, he then offered it to me to see if I wanted to have a go with him with Bruce Blenheim and uh, it, it all went from there. And Russell Edwards had Night Pistol down at Diggy Lee's and um, I believe Dicky had it for a long, long time and he couldn't get out of his own own way plus he was a, a mongrel horse for galloping and breaking up carts and all sorts of things. He was a, a bit of a rogue. Um, uh, even in training he'd, he'd kick carts. One or two, one and a half carts uh, disintegrated at, at before we sort of got him going. Uh, even in his early days of racing he uh, he just uh, wouldn't race properly and uh, trot gallop all the time and yeah it took a while to get him uh, and a lot of perseverance from Bruce and he, he deserves a lot of the credit to to get this horse to where he was. I honestly just kept working him and kept talking to him and um, I put in a lot of work in him, not just put the gear on and go out and it'd make sure, you know, a lot of times standing, walking and... He always showed potential and uh, as I said, Bruce persevered with him and uh, yeah, when, when he first won a race uh, at Hamilton, uh, Brian Gath, uh, was a driver and he, he sort of got off and said look uh, you know this horse can pretty go go pretty well and uh, I think he got a pretty good horse he is. Without cover the favourite now Knight Pistol has tacked up after throwing away the best part of 50 or 60 metres he's making ground around the outside three wide but has a Herculean job. Uh, eventually he made it to uh, Mooney Valley and uh, he took out a, a nice uh, race there and uh, we were lucky to be there that night when he raced and showed plenty of potential. Meters in front of Jebro Flat, so too Calamar Lass. Under pressure, Belmarie boxing on, but Knight Pistol at the 150, still over five metres in front. This has been a Herculean performance by Knight Pistol. He got away at the 100 metre mark from Jebro Belmarie, and what a marvellous performance by Knight Pistol. He threw away the best part of 60 metres and he's won by eight. Great effort, Knight Pistol, eight metres to... He's a lovely winded horse and, and uh, it, it, it was all, you always look for a horse that comes home and, and uh, that was in his favour. He, he was always seemed to leave his best to last. Finale Irish Rhapsody, Crystal Sunset to the outside. Right from the time that I got him, I put, I put a lot of, I put a lot of work into him and, and uh, that was, that's, why he started to come good and uh, the rest. Night Pistol, Rocky's boy, they're in front inside the final 50, speeding fine out wide, running on, but Night Pistol, he got up there early and he's beaten them by almost three metres. But... I, I, the year before I went to um, to Sydney to the Inner Dominion with him, but he didn't perform very well. He's back to his old stages of galloping and God knows what not at uh, a couple of runs at, at Sydney in Dominion but then um, he's a different a different horse um, in another 12 months time when we went to New Zealand. 400 yeah. metres to go, Brett and Abbey in front, Craig Andrew is chasing, right there with them is Knight Pistol, it's followed by Rosie O'Grady retreating, so long Eden was next, heading the rest around the corner, Sergeant Jones further back to Talon Rep, but Brett and Abbey well clear 200 metres out. It's Brett and Abbey's three to four lengths in front now. 
trying to cut it down on the outside Craig Andrew Knight Pistol is still there so long Eden coming at them solidly down the outer Bretton Abbey starting to stall they get to it though as they come to the line and Bretton Abbey lasted so long Eden broke and Knight Pistol got through on the inside of Craig Andrew basically we got to the stage of um, Bruce had you know the horse had started to wane in his performances um, he hadn't won a race for some time and uh, so we, uh, I said to Russell, look, uh, you know, Bruce doesn't want to really continue on with the training the horse. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, it was Russell's idea to give him the Peter. I'd never trained a trailer before, though I always had paces, and uh, he's a bit of an old rogue, he was. So, yeah, so I said to him that uh, I'd, uh, I'd pick him up for him. He's going to send him to Glen Tippett. And I said I'd pick him up. And, and didn't eventuate and uh, I started to work him and I just went on with him from there. Uh, basically we knew he was um, a horse who had a lot of ability but often uh, did things wrong in his races, galloped and um, was often out the back so it, when he did it right he was he was good when he but he didn't do it right that often so he certainly um, showed good ability for um, Bruce before we got him but just uh, the owners were just frustrated with him and, and wanted to try something else. We had nothing to lose and everything to gain, so um, yeah, the horse was given to Peter and um, I think his first race was at uh, Maribor, uh race and wasn't spectacular but it showed enough promise and then uh, he came out uh, next race and won um, and it just started to snowball from there. Apollo, Ciola, Cola and Pride of Petite last and they quickened up there when Knight Pistol went to the lead and once again there's a good 40 metres, at least 40 metres first from last and the leader is Knight Pistol and the favourite Pride of Petite is last. So they uh, were When he won the, the Trotters Championship um, he'd gone into that uh, with pretty ordinary form so he, he got off the front uh, and uh, much to you know, Pride of Petite and uh, a lot of the good horses at the time were back off some big marks and uh, we were fortunate enough that um, he drew the front for the two heats, won those, uh, went into the final. We still didn't think that uh, he'd, he'd win the final. Once he led, uh, he bowled along a pretty good time and, and made it really tough for the back markers. Like, they were really good horses chasing him but they had, I think, 30 metre handicaps at least. And, and in a big field, which made it really tough for them, but um, he did a really good job, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a really proud moment to see him win such a nice race. Into bank together, here's Pride of Petite and Wagon Apollo, into bank, Night Pistol, Pride of Petite, Wagon Apollo are flying home, Night Pistol's in front of Wagon Apollo, Night Pistol's gonna hang on, Night Pistol's won the championship, Night Pistol first, well done, Karen Manning. Uh, basically just the, the track at home I think really suited him, it's, a, it's, a, it's different to normal tracks, it's uphills and downhills uh, through the trees and it's quite heavy and, and really um, a, a big track compared to most tracks so it's, it's just a little bit unique and, and can click really good with horses um, and uh, he just improved on that. Oh well I put him on the same program that I got my uh, paces on and I've had plenty of road paces and ho old horses, I've done a lot of young ones too but uh, put him on the program and he turned around and then uh, we sort of started to get better and better uh, and work better and better and he used to gallop a lot and uh, but he didn't gallop because he had a bad gait, he galloped because he was too competitive and uh, as soon as he found out he couldn't trot quick enough, uh, he went into a gallop on that. And so Karen and I worked him and we used to sit him in behind and never pulled him out and he did all his work like that and then, then we started pulling him out that, uh, to pass the other horse uh, that he's working with and he gradually got better and better and in the end we could uh, just uh, do whatever with him. Uh, and he worked as good as gold then. And hold on my heart, led by three metres, two on the outside into bank, Night Pistol coming back, then Kai Valley Prince, and now Wagon Apollo starting to charge home. Pride of Petite from a mile back, hold on my heart, the leader, coming at it now, Night Pistol, wider out Wagon Apollo, here's Pride of Petite, the champion mare, Pride of Petite and Wagon Apollo, and Night Pistol, what a finish, Pride of Petite, Wagon Apollo, Night Pistol, the three of them, they've hit it locked together. The trip to Europe, um, Russell went with the horse, he flew with him, and uh, it was supposed to be a, 
um, direct flight basically, a um, couple of stops but a direct flight. It didn't work out that way. And From when he left the stables it was 56 hour trip for him non-stop basically without getting uh, his feet on the ground and uh, or his head down sort of thing and it took its toll once he arrived. He arrived seemed well but um, his, uh, he tied up in the muscles um, the next day or the day after and certainly was in a little bit of a bad way for, for, for a little while there. And uh... He became so dehydrated that uh, Russell rang uh, one night and said look looks like the horse could be put down um, you know he's not, not, not looking good for him and uh, yeah it, it was uh, devastating news at that stage. Uh, yeah to his credit the horse um, came through it um, remarkably well. But... He bounced back uh, after that and yeah went to uh, Norway and uh, won the Harley Davidson trot. Yeah certainly um, did a great job to to get back to his best there, he, he we weren't expecting a lot. We we drew one, I think, and um, in Norway, uh, and the world champion horse, Gentle Star, was was in the field. So we weren't expecting much. We were hoping to just improve off our first run and, and uh, keep up. <laughs> so he, he managed to settle uh, handy. Uh, I think he was leaders back, and he got the right splits at the right time, and um, he was pretty much flat out the whole way. Uh, they went 156 which was, is pretty quick going and he, he managed to get off and in the straight came with, with one run and just kept coming and, and managed to pick him just before the line so that was very exciting. I went out the gate much better and I got a good spot and oh, he nearly broke in the straight but I got him back and he, and he just, oh he was awesome. Took the lead from Dawn Invasion, then Armbro Light, Night Pistol in front though. Put your hands together for this great horse. Armbro Light trying to peg him back with a champ back in Australia, and he's back in town. Night Pistol wins two metres. They're on the turn now, and Night Pistol, the champ, he headed up for home five metres. Flying debris, trying up with Indiana Lee. Next in the race then was Jenna Trick, but the front runner here is Night Pistol off from Sweden to Mary Bar. He's done it again, the champ. He'll clock up another win. Night Pistol by 10 metres, Indiana Lee. Third Jenna Trick from all of what, Ray. Turning for home, Night Pistol, putting his head in front of Spuds McKenzie, but Van Tune's after Night Pistol. Van Tune the outside of Night Pistol at the 100. Van Tune got his nose in front. Night Pistol coming again. Van Tune and Night uh, Pistol flying on the outside. Get me not. Night Pistol's got his nose in front. Oh, what a great run. What a great horse. A great trotter, even against the pace as he's beaten them. I th I think you can't go past the Mooney Valley race where he come off, uh, from memory I think it was about 80 metres or something like that, it was just ridiculous. Just to make mine glory, and look at Knight Pistol Chase, he's just about tacked onto that group, admittedly he's a long way from Why Worry still, but he's about to go past Make Mine Glory. Coming and uh, they thought that they just kept handicapping him back and back, more and more, 10 more metres every time he won a race and they, they just... Uh, got to a ridiculous stage and I think we even thought maybe no nah, that's not worth going in this but uh, I truly believe that uh, that race uh, you know it was only just a, a TMO or better um, that would be probably the, the most exciting race uh, to see him come off that big mark and just make up the ground and then he went past uh, Noopy Kiosk who was a, a top horse at the time Basically, see Noopy Chaos just sort of be, yeah. Once he went past him, he, uh, I think that was sort of Noopy surrendering and saying, I can't do anymore. Night Pistol drew past Noopy Chaos. Then first signal. Night Pistol goes for home. He's got Noopy Chaos covered. Night Pistol. This is an extraordinary run. Hail the King. The King of Trotting is Night Pistol, and this is one of the greatest performances you will ever ever see. Night Pistol wins by eight metres. Noopy Kiosk. Yeah, I, I can't believe it, Bob. I really can't. It's, um, I mean, it was more exciting than any race I've ever been involved in. And I honestly think that it's one of the most exciting performances that I've ever seen. And I, I've never tried to put this horse in Wagon Apollo's class or Pride of Petite, but uh, that was a Mary's Idol-like performance tonight. I mean, that was absolutely stunning. I can't believe it. He used to win off big handicaps. Uh, especially around Globe Derby, uh, he ran off 90 metres, which is pretty much unheard of. Really, it's it's very uh, rare to see that, and uh, I guess the opposition were a little bit poorer over there. But he certainly um, was still a massive task. And... Next, he's still 100 metres 
off the leader and 15 metres away last of all was as a race. Watch out brothers, here he comes, he's starting to breathe fire, Night Pestle is only 5 metres away, 15 metres to speeding fine, then Vanilla Rice Ambre Light off the back at the 300, oh I think he's going to make mincemeat of them again Night Pestle, he moves up strongly now to too hot to trot and crafty mood, they beat off Key Step, 15 metres to Vanilla Rice, on the turn Night Pestle, he moved up to Too Hot to Trot, then Crafty Mood and Featherback Key Step in the straight, it's Night Pistol getting his head in front of Too Hot to Trot, then Crafty Mood, oh what an animal he is, Night Pistol, this is one of the greatest performances we've seen here for a long time, Night Pistol by a metre to Too Hot to Trot, he just couldn't win with 1200 to go, but that's what champions can do. Look, I don't know, he's just one of those freaks that the older he got the better he got. He drew away. Oh, if he was a heavyweight boxer, he'd be Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis and Mike Tyson rolled into one. He's the Terminator and he will deliver another knockout blow. Night he was a, he was a, he was a lovely natured horse and the fact that I'll guarantee that he came, there there wasn't a horse that ever passed him in the in the last two or three hundred meters. He he just well I've seen a, a, quite a few of his films after where Karen and that had started driving him and he's come from 60 metres behind and he's gone around the whole lot and he was always doing his best work at the end. Him. It's National Interest and Knight Pestle. National Interest, Knight Pestle. What a horse! Knight Pestle's done it. What a run! Knight Pestle beats National Interest and Pat Sun. He might have been a rogue but he, he was a top horse. Yeah and his ability is tough, strong and fast. So. She wants to win this and Sundown away. They're heading for home. Andrew Air, the leader. Pride of Petite starting to struggle a bit, but she's still giving plenty. And it's Andrew Air. Knight Pistol gets to the front. Here's Buster Hanover down the outside. Knight Pistol, it's Australia. Knight Pistol, Buster Hanover. He just tried so hard. He was, he'd never say die. And um, every time he went out, he did his best. And, and he, he was nothing to look at, he was old, plain, old, ugly little thing, but uh, he had the biggest heart you could imagine and, and just, you know, did his best and that's what you can ask him for and, um, yeah, he was one of the favourites. What a champion. That's it, that's exactly what he is. Well, did you think he could win from back where you were? On the turn I was uh, still a fair way back, but I knew he'd, he'd run home really well, he didn't have to do a real lot of chasing tonight. And um, yeah, he came out with a wet sail. Well, listen to this reception because the crowd absolutely love him. And uh, the, cr the, the actual roar of the crowd when you went over the line was unbelievable. I can hear him, yep, yeah, it's a fantastic feeling. Well done, Karen. Go back and enjoy this moment because this is a great champion, ladies and gentlemen, Night Festival.